Hey there. So today I want to cover something that I thought was kind of interesting. And this is Eric Larson sounding like a comic skater. Now, if you don't know who Eric Larson is, he is a co-founder of Image Comics. But not only that, he is their current CFO. Now, some people take that label and they say, hey, that doesn't really matter. I mean, Image Comics over there, they don't know a lot about these kind of things. They're just attached to people. You know, people get an honorary title. Eric Larson himself has said that he doesn't know a lot about numbers. Now, for me, I find that to be an effective leadership because when you look at a company, it doesn't matter how effective the person is in their position. It matters how people perceive the leadership positions. And well, that is a leadership position. It also has a lot of authority when going out and interacting with people. And well, Eric Larson, he is pretty much personified unprofessionalism as as we have gone along and looked at this, I mean, if we look at a few of his greatest hits, for example, here's him talking about how people that complain to image, they don't really count because, hey, you know, those people, when they're writing letters, they were never image comic consumers ever. How would you know that? Well, I'm not sure about that, but hey, we'll run for that kind of stuff. We also have stuff like this, where he decided he would go on a blocking spree. He decided that he would tra talk people that were complaining about uh, Image Comics publishing someone that talked about a person dying by IED blast that talked about snapping their cracker neck and on. You know, he thought he would get together. He thought that he would talk trash about it. He would uh, really personify who he is, and it really gave you a feeling of who and what this person was. He also has come out and made some ridiculous statements in the past. Here's one of my favorites. He was talking about Nazis at one time, and then, you know, people called him on it and said, who exactly are those Nazis, Eric? And he said, well, if you publicly start uh, advocating that transgender people be marched into the gas chambers, then you're on your own. You know, because people totally are doing that. But then again, you know, that's pretty much par for the course for a lot of people like this. So imagine my surprise to find out, hey, Eric Larson is pretty much admitting that were he a kid and were he to see the comic book uh, caliber and quality that we've been talking about now from Marvel and DC, well, he wouldn't have been a reader. Huh. Interesting. Now, he's not the first person to make statements like this either. Gail Simone has talked about when they had the reboot and they took Oracle out of the wheelchair, how she found that appealing because of nostalgia as well, because she understood the character a certain way. So you had these people that are reflecting the same types of implications, but that label that they threw out there to say those people are the bad guys, yeah, they don't want that stuck to them. Huh. Imagine that. That's the thing about Comicsgate, too, as a label. I mean, really, what does it mean? Well, first off, it means that people see that there is a problem with this current iteration of comics. They see the low caliber out there. They see that there is this diminishing return, wherein you need a higher pricing point, you need gimmicks and on, just to make sales. I mean, I was looking at the numbers for this month, for example, and I noticed Batman. If you take the two Batman man titles that came out in the month and you look at the raised price there you're talking about close to 200,000 extra dollars per month that are coming in that way. Even with doing that, gimmicks, milestones, and on, you only see a 2% price increase from last year, one of the worst years around. Why is that? Well, because people know the comic books, they're on the way out. They look like dinosaurs, you know, when you look at this kind of uh, quality that we're, we're seeing. And these companies, they could care less. They would let it go out. They don't want uh, revitalization. They just want their intellectual property. Now, while that's going on, you have people like Eric Larson personified, just setting out there and really showing what comic book professionals look like. What do they do? They dog on comic consumers. They talk trash all the time. They can do everything when they're talking but be professional. I mean, if you want to see a guy go out and insult people because of their religion, boom, here's that guy. You want to see somebody go out and pretty much diminish any kind of argument against something? Well, I showed you exactly how he thinks of comic consumers. So, 
The other day, he was making this, and let's read through it, and then look at the way that he again tries to deflect this. If modern Marvel and DC Comics were uh, what was coming out when I was a kid, I doubt I would have become a comic book reader. That seems like a shitty thing to say, but it's all one huge, confusing cluster F after another. It's all part 17 of a 24-part story. One thing which grabbed me as a kid was regular creative teams. Being able to count on a book month after month, that's largely gone. So then he talks about exactly who the people were that resonated with him. He talks about a little bit more of that. He talks about story concept, linearity, and on. And when you look at this, again, this is the same thing that people have talked about. But of course, when that's brought up by him, nobody's going to call him a racist or a transphobe and on because he's talking Talking about these specific titles. In fact, I've always been interested in the fact that Eric has actually managed to dodge such labels while going out and making some of the exact same points that you see thrown out again and again. So anyhow, Someone brought up the fact that he actually sounded like a comic skater. Here we have Donald DeLay bring that up. Welcome to Comic Skate, Eric. This is how uh, current readers feel. Glad you share our views. And of course, you know, Eric responds like any professional would. You can go fuck yourself. Well, after that, of course, he needs to take it to another level. He needs everyone's favorite troll. The one empowered by Marvel and empowered by DC professional and on, well, apparently, he needs to empower that person, too. So, when you're looking for a reason to say, why exactly do I not want to buy most image comics? Well, here you go. So, of course, you know, this is something he's retweeting, so he agrees with this. So, I mean, read through this here. Here we see Eric Larson demonstrating the appropriate reaction to being retweeted by a Comicsgate supporter. 100% there. Hmm, alright. So, you know, comic book consumers out there, take heed because that's the appropriate reaction when you go out and you uh, retweet something they say. You should be told to go fuck yourself. I mean, hey, you know, you invest in comics. You actually go out and you have a point about, again, deterioration of quality and deterioration of this persona that comic book uh, professionals have. But hey, that professional, they've probably always been this way. They've probably never had people able to actually go out and to say, hey, we question what you're saying here. And not only that, but to say, hey, you know, all of those buzzwords and all of that dismissal that you throw around, yeah, you know, you really, after you scrape it all away, you sound just like that too. See, these folks, I mean, they make some of the same points, like I say. Eric Larson has talked about how people People want to uh, dress down uh, superheroes. In fact, I think that's pretty interesting because he has talked about how uh, people have tried to uh, take away the quote-unquote male gaze by making people look basically ordinary, and he has a problem with that. But hey, again, what do those consumers know when they talk about stuff? And, you know, when he's talking about things, he's also shown hypocrisy. And when you look at the dark roast comments that he threw out there, there. You know, what's the difference between a dumpster and then what uh, other people have been called with the same word but rag added on? Oh, well, those are two worlds different. When someone's talking about people being blown up in IED blasts or they're going out and saying reprehensible trash to people, again, about violence and on, well, Eric Larson even admitted, hey, if that would have been said to a woman from a man, that would have been different. These are representatives of the companies that want your money. And if you need a reason to walk away from something, there it is. It's right in your face. It's there over and over again. In fact, when you point out that this kind of stuff here actually does resonate with so many people. They've gotten fed up with it, and they've actually taken up voices, or they've walked away, period. And you say, well, that's actually what people have been trying to say for a while. They've been trying to say that if you want to save comics, if you actually want this uh, thing to continue and you don't want to kill local comic shops and on, well, you got to fix that quality. Well, if you use the wrong label with that, F you, 
F you wrong thinker. Hmm. But anyhow, you tell me what you think about this stuff when you look at it. I mean, I think it's kind of interesting, and it's very telling. But then again, you know, that story has already been told about this person time and again. I think people need to be reminded of who these people are, though, because, again, they should be the personas that you look at on that big stage, and you think, that makes me want to buy. And Eric here, he doesn't just represent image. He represents every individual creator that comes to Image and says, hey, I want to be published under that label. He drives people away from their sales. But again, hey, what do we know? We're just consumers that have been around for decades and we're walking away and we're finding other things to walk toward. Now, if you like this kind of content, please consider supporting the channel. You know, there are links within the description. Make sure that you sub. Make sure that you like. There is a PayPal link if you want to direct uh, help out. And also, there is a Patreon link as well if you want to go in and get a little bit of extra coverage plus per month. But beyond that, make sure that you give a comment because I want to see exactly what people think about this stuff. And as always, for sure, thank you for tuning in.